couple things on the Voyager today. I do like to take long rides, and uh, they sell this backrest. It's called a uh, grasshopper, and there's a bracket that screws in the bottom here. You guys that have a Voyager, you know all about it. But it's all hidden away. It's kind of cool because you can't really see it. It's all hidden. The only problem is, is when you slide the back in, <clears throat> this is all smooth, and it allows it to go as far as it can. And then it basically takes the, the seat and does this to it. So if you have a nice long ride, eventually you're going to get permanent wrinkles in there. I didn't want that. So what I did is I went ahead and drilled a hole. <clears throat> Just happened to have a spare grommet laying around. Pushed the grommet through. And now I've got a nice rubber stop. So it only goes in this far. That's as far as it goes. There's a little bit of a lump here from where it's pressed in. But it won't go any further. <clears throat> And it's comfortable, you know, it sticks out just enough and it does give, which is kind of nice to your back. And at least it's uh, not going to make permanent wrinkles here in the, uh, in the pillion seat here. So that's the one that I went ahead and do. That was my slight modification for the grasshopper. Again, it just pulls out and I can take this and just shove it into the trunk or on one of the side bags. The other thing is having hairy holes on your motorcycle. Don't laugh, you guys know what I'm getting at. But what happens is the packing material inside, these are Dry Cool Extreme, and I think it's the same as that uh, Shark. Actually, you can see a piece of the material right here. It starts to make its way through the baffle, and it starts to uh, blow out and you have any little crack in here. So we're basically going to fix this. The other day, it looked horrible. I mean, it looked like a fur monster that was in there trying to get out. So I thought, you know what? I went ahead and uh, took it apart, pushed some of the baffles back, and I thought, I have a neat idea to go ahead and fix this thing permanently. So today, we're going to use this. Okay, so this isn't regular steel wool. This is stainless steel. The last thing you want to do is put regular steel wool in there and have it start rusting and make a mess out of your pipes. So this is stainless steel, steel wool. And I'll go ahead and just use some uh, good old scissors. And I'll cut this. And I'll actually put it around. Well, I'll show you what we're going to do. But we're going to basically make uh, like a stainless steel gasket to push in there. Um, it, the pipes are like $369 or something like that. I love them. And uh, should you have to do this with a brand new set of pipes? No. And I suppose if you bought the six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollar pipes from somebody else, you probably wouldn't have to do this. But um, I love the pipes. I love the way they sound. I love the way they look. And if it just means me having to throw some stainless steel in there, um, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to order this on Amazon. I'll put a link on there. And um, that will, I'll basically take you through the, uh, the application process. So you can see the material is kind of like a lining here. And it is rifled inside too, forcing the sound and the exhaust to make its way into the baffle to kind of muffle it a bit so it's not too loud. Got a couple of uh, short uh, stainless steel Allen head bolts. One here, one at the top. I'll go ahead and take this one off and then I'll show you how this comes right off. All right, so with the second Allen head screw removed, this comes right off. Like I said, it's really nice and heavy duty, and I really like it. And of course, here's the culprit here. This is the packing material, the fiberglass they use to actually muffle the sound, which is great, right? There's no problem there, but again, it starts to make its way out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this stainless steel uh, wool, stainless steel wool, and actually going to pack it in there uh, nice and thick and push some of this back so that the stainless steel is now up against this tip here, preventing any of this material from making its way out. So I'm going to use a little tool to go ahead and push some of this back and stuff the rest of this in here with uh, stainless. And that should prevent this stuff from ever trying to make its way out. Because uh, nothing worse than a hairy hole on your motorcycle. So again, stainless steel wool. Not regular steel wool, guys, unless you love rust, and I don't. So it comes in a nice little roll. I went ahead and uh, cut off a piece here. Now I'm going to make, uh, kind of fold that up, and so it's a, kind of like a bead, we're going to go ahead and push that in, and then when we put the cap back on, it has a little bit of a lip too, that'll push in a little bit deeper, and like I said, that should prevent any of this uh, packing material from making its way out again. So there it is, folks. I used uh, two pieces, rolled into fours, kind of pushed it in there like a nice gasket. Again, the old stainless steel is in there, and that's going to hold the fibers back. And uh, I think it goes back about this far, as far as the stainless. And then I'll just go ahead and put the tip back on. These are nice and heavy duty too. I really like these. I'll put that back on and screw it into place. I'll never have to worry about the fibers making their way out again. 
and you can see that's got the material and stuff there and of course like I said it is rifled inside and the worst thing you can do is if you wash your bike and you go ahead and get water in here it can sit make its way into here and create rust on the inside of this because this is a uh, chrome uh, plated metal and you don't want rust to set up or any of that so what I would highly suggest is buying yourself a nice set of these now I do have plugs that fit into the smaller exhaust like on my VMAX right there so when I wash that you know no water gets in and then of course I just pull the plugs out these holes here were so freaking big I couldn't find a plug that fit that so I thought you know what let me take an outside diameter which was four inches and I just happened to buy this and what this ends up looking like when it's on it's all waterproof now I can go ahead and wash the bike and uh, not worry about any water getting up in there now if you happen to forget to take that off the first time you start these are going to shoot off across the yard and all that stuff because of the engine but then you just pull them off they are nice and snug which makes them nice and like I said you can keep the water out of there so again this is four inches I went on Amazon I found these I'll give you guys a link and they're a nice uh, snug fit for four inch so just something to think about for when you're washing your vehicle Okay, just a heads up the left pipe I had to take the uh, saddle bag off uh, three 10 millimeter bolts so I can get an Allen wrench uh, on that nut for some reason that just sits just a little bit different than the one on the right side but they're all set and they're all packed with the steel wool holding back the fiber I should never have a problem again hope this helps guys I'll go ahead and get this on YouTube and uh, you know what to do like subscribe hit that bell notification for future content